So about a week ago or so, I posted a review, actually a series of videos, on this thing here. This is the Uperfect X14 Pro. And for those that do not know, this is not a laptop, this is a lap dock. This is a thing that you plug another thing into to be used as a portable mouse, keyboard, screen, battery bank, all of the above. It's aluminum. It's really, really nice. The keyboard is fantastic. It can actually be used wirelessly for decks, for your Steam Deck, for your Switch. It's really quite cool. However, one of the big complaints that I saw about this thing is that it is pretty expensive, right? $429 is not a small amount. Now, I do overall like this thing. I like the build quality. I really like the keyboard. The screen, 14 inches, is very, very nice. 60 hertz is, you know, whatever, but the colors, the clarity, it's, it's a solid screen, okay? But again, $429 is not a small amount of money. Now, it just so happens that within a couple of days of posting those videos, this company, KYY, reached out to me and said, I've got this portable monitor and we want to send it to you and let you check it out. Now, this is $139. Obviously, that's a lot cheaper, right? It's a little bit bigger, 15.6 inches versus 14 inches. Now, of course, this has no keyboard. This has no mouse. This is not a battery bank. This needs to be plugged in to be used. But I thought it might make sense to cover this thing anyways because this is kind of your one-stop shop, right? It's nice and it's got everything you need to use you know, your phone or your Steam Deck, whatever, as a portable computer. But a lot of people already have a mouse and a keyboard. Maybe they have a USB-C hub. Maybe they don't need all of that stuff. Maybe they don't really care about the battery bank functionality. And a simple, slim, really portable monitor might make a lot of sense. So I've got it here. I'm gonna quickly kind of give you the overview of what comes in the box, overview of the device itself, and then we're going to start talking about how I've been using it for the last few days and if it's any good. As you saw in the opening little bit of this video, this is how the thing actually is meant to be kind of toted around inside this pretty nice feeling little, uh, what would you call this? It's not really a bag. It's sort of like a case, basically, KYY there uh, on the back of it. It does also come with a USB A to C cable, which I reckon is for charging. There's a brick included. It comes with a USB C to C cable, as well as a mini HDMI to HDMI cable. So pretty much everything you need to use it straight out of the box. And like you also saw, this carrying case is not just a carrying case. This is actually really, really intelligent. It's magnetized in such a way that you can use this as the stand. So if we pull the thing out of here, we'll set the case kind of to the side just for a moment some nice smudges on the screen. All right, looking much nicer now. So like I said earlier, 15.6 inch diagonal. This is a 1080p screen, which does run at 60 Hertz. Um, and it looks fairly nice, right? This kind of is cold to the touch, some sort of metal, perhaps aluminum or something like that. As far as the backside, which you're never going to see really, but at any rate, it's relatively clean. I'm probably gonna peel that sticker off. You can see here, headphone jack, uh, volume menu, volume down, a power button, and then you have um, two USB-Cs here, which could be power or an input, and then your HDMI. It is an IPS panel, if that is relevant to you as well. If we pick this thing up and show you the sides here, maybe this will focus beautifully. It has. Uh, there are built-in speakers left and right. They're not particularly loud, but they're they're okay. They're there. They're better than the one on the lap dock, that's for sure. I wanted to take a second and give you a demo of the speakers here, and I discovered something that is quite interesting. You may notice here that I am running Dex off of my S23 Ultra, and that's the only thing plugged into this thing right now. So right now, this is actually supplying the power to this and running Dex, making it totally self-sufficient and uh, much more portable. So that is a really cool option. Now, if I plugged in power into it, this would begin charging, it would flip, and this would start charging, rather this would start charging this. But that's a pretty cool thing that I just now realized is possible. Now let's uh, scroll down here to YouTube and let's um, find a song. You know what makes more sense than YouTube? YouTube music. And we'll just play what was already there. 
I've actually changed songs because even though that's a good song, it, it's a little quiet and I've also changed uh, recording devices here because the audio is getting all crunchy and weird, so hopefully this one's better. This is coming out of the monitor, the stereo speakers on the monitor, full volume, here's what they sound like. And now we're going to switch to the S23 Ultra. So, I mean, yeah, definitely your phone speakers, you know, it, something like this is probably going to be the better speaker, but they're there. And I mean, they're not great, but they're better than that lap dock at least. And you can see how these buttons look and everything. If we can get enough room here, there are those inputs. And then on the other side, there is uh, absolutely nothing but that speaker grill, nothing up here, nothing down here. I feel like I'm about to do a magic trick. Nothing up my sleeve, nothing up my other sleeve. Now let's look at this case here because it's actually really quite cool. So what you're meant to do with it is you're meant to take this case and fold it up like this. So you fold this, you can actually, you can see the outline of the magnets if you look very closely right there. So you fold it in and you set it right there and you'll feel it grab when it does. You'll feel that. And then this last bit here, you just kind of fold it over and now you have a stand for this thing. So that's your carrying case and it's also how you stand it up. And that, I mean, honestly, works way better than I thought it would. Now I do want to admit to you, I was quite confused by this stand at first. I was trying to do it this way and just couldn't quite make out exactly how to origami this thing. Maybe I'm just dumb. But I'm going to show you again very, very slowly so that if you're, you know, Googling and you're like, how do I, I don't understand the stand. This is how it comes out, right? It opens up here. This is the back end. You have to use the outside. It has to fold down, right? It can't, it's not going to go this way. It has to fold down and then up and around and you will feel it latch into place. Okay, so that's how that works. And again, works pretty well, guys. Now, something else you may have noticed in that beginning, that opening section there was that I was actually powering this thing off of a fairly old battery bank. This thing needs a shockingly low amount of power to actually run. So while it is not technically fully portable in the sense it doesn't have its own battery, you probably have a battery bank lying around as well. And that's kind of the groove of this video is that you probably have a keyboard, you probably have a mouse, you probably have a battery bank. So at that point, why spend $400? You could spend 140 and kind of piecemeal something together on your own. I actually plugged this thing into a charger with one of those uh, little USB-C cables that have the output on it, so it shows what the wattage is. It was running like five or six watts at the most, so that's all it needs. So again, probably have a battery bank that can power this thing, making it pretty darn portable. You saw all that stuff I put on that table. You could throw that all in a bag really, really easily. And you've got your phone to run decks or maybe your Steam Deck or something like that, which we're going to talk about the Steam Deck here in a minute because that's been the primary way I've been using it. You've got a full computer set up there. Okay, so we're going to do like a quick demo here. I have this uh, kind of older Aki uh, battery bank that is uh, 20,000 milliamp hours and it charges, it says here, USB-C is 5 volts at 3 amps. So that would be like 15 watts of uh, charging power. And, you know, surprisingly to me, it's kind of honestly did surprise me, that appears to be all the power you need to actually have this thing fire up. Now, for whatever reason, maybe it's the battery bank or something, it does seem to take a second. But there we go. We have uh, officially powered up, and you're going to see here no signal or something like that because I don't have anything that's plugged into it. Now, what am I going to plug into it? Now, look, anything that can run via USB-C. Now, if you're going to do a Nintendo Switch, Unfortunately, a switch to do output has to be getting power. So you're probably going to have to use your switch in its dock and then use that HDMI cable over to it. That's a little bit annoying. But a phone running DeX, as you saw in the beginning, absolutely, totally fine. Now, this is not a touch screen, obviously, so that's a little bit of a bummer. But still, DeX is fine. Anything that can output over USB-C or HDMI is going to work on this thing. So that uh, rounds us out to every device ever, ever made is compatible with this monitor. It's a monitor, okay? But the thing I've been using it most with is my Steam Deck. And the biggest reason for that is because in the last couple of days, I have installed Windows 11 on my Steam Deck because I'm one of those people. And it has absolutely made me love this thing even more. It is running a full desktop operating system. I'm not a Linux guy. Linux confuses me, but I understand Windows very, very well. So this has been 
really, really cool to use. And to make it even cooler is that I can plug this thing into this setup, mouse, keyboard, I did this backwards, mouse, keyboard, and it's a dual monitor setup if I want it to be. So let's do that. And luckily the Steam Deck, like a lot of other devices, can output via USB-C very, very happily. And so there you go. I'm going to kind of set the Steam Deck in my uh, lap here. But now with this mouse and keyboard, which now is activated. Did I pair this already? Let's turn this lamp off over here as well to get rid of that nasty glare. But yeah, at that point, guys, I've just got a full Windows desktop. Let's drag this window in from the other monitor. And it's Windows, right? And like it runs better than it really has any right to be running. I've been gaming on, I've been doing all kinds of cool stuff on this, using it like a dual monitor computer. And of course, when I'm doing this, I've got a dock set up for my Steam Deck that I set it down in this little stand, plug in this, plug it into my JSOX dock that I reviewed on this channel, and a different uh, keyboard with a trackpad built in is what I'm using uh, in my actual setup. It connects, I'm off and running and suddenly my Steam Deck running Windows is on a much larger screen. And so that's just like a really, really cool setup for this thing, which I'm going to show you a bit more directly kind of how I'm using it here uh, now. So you can imagine a scenario like this. You're using your Steam Deck running Windows 11 because why not? A big reason is so that I can actually access games in the Xbox Game Pass app. That's very, very cool. So I'm going to load this thing up and I'm going to fire up a game. Having a good time playing Tunic. It's running well. Everything's great. But then just like the Nintendo Switch, Switch, but in this case, in my mind, maybe even better in a lot of ways because it's a full desktop operating system. I put it in my JSOX dock, I plug it in, the monitor fires up, I grab my Xbox controller, and I continue playing on a much larger, very like nice looking screen, pretty color accurate to my eye. Like I said, a solid looking screen. And honestly, it's just a really solid experience that I've been enjoying a lot over the last few days playing like Madden on my handheld. I want to play it on a bigger screen, drop in the dock, plug it in, boom, 15.6 inch screen instead, a uh, normal controller. It's been a lot of fun lately. Now, I fully realize that most of what I'm demoing could be done on any monitor, really. But what's special about this is a couple of things. One, it is extremely portable. So if you do travel, if you're moving around in any regard, you're camping, whatever, you can bring this thing with you and it's going to be pretty darn solid. Another place that is kind of maybe underappreciated is the fact that it runs off of USB-C, which means that you could potentially use like a single power brick that's got two, you know, plugs like the gallium nitride one that I used from Ugreen. That one little plug is going to power the thing that you're playing on the monitor as well as the monitor. Like it's just a really simplified setup. If this was a full monitor, that's where I've got the things right here next to me. Okay. If this were a full monitor, there wouldn't be room for that to sit there and there wouldn't be room for another. I don't actually, I'm out of outlets underneath this table because of all this stuff plugged in here, but it doesn't matter, right? Because I, all it needs is USB-C power. I've got a charger with, you know, several different ports on it. I'm good. And it's so slim. It's so small in its footprint that it can just sit there and be totally out of the way and fine. And if I need there to reclaim that space, it's going to take me two seconds. I'm going to unplug two things. I'm going to throw it in its little case and it's totally out of the way. And I just happen to think that's pretty darn cool. So there you go. Like I said, $139. I will drop an affiliate link in the description below. If you purchase it through that link, that will help directly support the channel. I really like this thing way more than I thought I was going to. Like, I thought this was going to be just something like I was going to review and put away. This is probably staying on my desk for a while. It, may, it might be a permanent addition to my desk just because of all the things I've mentioned that I do really like about it. It just works with my Steam Deck so beautifully well and is so portable, takes up so little space. I really, really do like this thing. So hopefully this was a fun video review for you guys. Thanks to KYY for sending this thing out for me to review. Very cool of them to reach out and to think of me in that way. Guys, I will see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.